This temple, Kaf Prat Vihan, uh, pretty much fell to the same sort of situation that Angkor Wat did. After the 13th century, it was pretty much abandoned when the empire fell. Uh, not much happened here. Locals probably used it as a religious point or a place to worship. Uh, people probably did come in here and live for a while. Uh, nothing really happened here until the late 18th century when Europeans found it again. Uh, funny enough, the last 30 years has seen a lot of activity here. You had the Cambodian governments, uh, quite a few of them, uh, the Khmer Rouge used this place, the Vietnamese were here, and also the Thais. I'm standing here on top of Phnom Dong Rat, which is the name of this mountain. Just to my right, back over here, is the temple that was built by Yasso Wadaman I back about 800 AD. On this side, this is Cambodia. Most of it's still virgin forests and untouched. Beautiful. Well, I happen to know that the temple has a very interesting history, okay? It has a, a, a very interesting modern history, unlike a lot of the other Cambodian temples. Not just an interesting ancient history. So for me, going up there uh, allows me to get in touch with the recent past and also the ancient past. I'm looking at uh, uh, th things which have been placed there in the last 20, 30 years. Uh, and things which have been there for uh, 1,300 years. So, f for me as an American who only has a, you know come from a country 200 years old, this is like it's vast. It's something that's it, it's hard to imagine a thousand years. But here, I'm standing on it, I'm looking at it, and I can actually touch it. You know, so it puts it in perspective for me.